Uh, let's bring you breaking news now. We have had an update on government plans. The plans to use a modified barge to house up to 500 asylum seekers. Uh, these plans have been talked about for uh, the last few days. We're getting official confirmation now from the government that this is going to happen. Let's bring in our political correspondent, Amanda Acas. She's been following this closely from Westminster. Uh, so what's new, Amanda? Yes, so we have finally this afternoon got the official confirmation, as you say, that the government has done a deal to lease this um, very large barge. It's known as the Bibby Stockholm. Um, it has more than 200 ensuite cabins on board. It can house more than 500 or so migrants, and it's going to be docked in Portland in Dorset. Uh, now, we've got a statement from the Home Office um, who say that they are going to explore the use of other vessels as, vessels as well to accommodate uh, migrants. Um, they say it will reduce the reliance on expensive hotels and deliver a more orderly, cost-effective and sustainable asylum accommodation system. Now, the government ministers have repeatedly uh, been telling us that the cost of hotels is running at around £6 million a day. Um, it's thought that the government currently is housing around 50,000 um, asylum seekers in hotels uh, this year anyway. Uh, so, obviously, these 500 people that will be... Um, uh, living on board uh, this uh, this vessel is, is 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 kind of dwarfed in comparison. But the cost, uh, we don't know the exact details of the cost, but they're saying it will be cheaper. Um, we're told it's just for single adult males. Um, it will provide basic functional accommodation and healthcare provision, catering facilities, and 24/7 security in place on board to minimise the disruption to local communities. Now that's quite important because um, already since the idea of this has been reported in the last few days, there's been a huge amount of opposition from local community um, down in Portland, in Dorset. So the local MP, for example, who is a concern. Conservative Richard Drax um, has been very outspoken about it, saying he, along with the council and the police and crime commissioner and other, other local groups, are um, looking at the possibility of legal action against the government um, on various grounds, the strain on local services, but also the impact this will have on the all-important tourism industry um, on, the Jurassic coast, uh, on the Jurassic Coast, having 500 uh, young, mainly single men, um, accommodated uh, there all of a sudden um, is obviously going to have quite an impact on a, a relatively small community. Um, now, it's interesting to note that this particular vessel was previously used in the Netherlands to house asylum seekers. Um, now, when it was there, it was actually um, inspected and, and criticised as being an aggressive and oppressive environment. We understand it has been um, refurbished since then. The government uh, actually in their release talk about the fact it was previously used in other places in Europe. Um, they say it's important to save taxpayers money and to prevent the UK becoming a magnet, a magnet for asylum shoppers in Europe. So this is the government's argument that they don't want the use of hotel accommodation attracting people uh, to the UK. Um, migrant charities obviously disagree with that uh, quite strongly, um, but that's part of the government's argument that they want to create accommodation that will be a deterrent, that though they do say accommodation, all accommodation will meet our legal obligations, we'll work closely with the local community to address their concerns, including through financial support. Now, obviously, the government have come a cropper uh, with some of the accommodation they provided for um, asylum seekers before, uh, notably in the processing centre, uh, Napier Barracks, uh, down in Folkestone uh, previously, subject to a number um, of uh, legal challenges because of the standard of accommodation there, although that was never designed for people to stay there in the long term. Um, now, they've also got a quote from the chief executive of Portland, Port, who says, we're keen to play our part in the national effort to house some of the thousands of people needing accommodation. He's saying he wants to encourage everyone in the community to approach this with an open mind and help us show other areas just how successful this type of initiative can be, both for migrants and the local community. They say there'll be close cooperation with local agencies, particularly including health services and emergency services. Um, I think that's an interesting uh, warning shot, I guess, back to the council and the local MP who are obviously very concerned about this. Um, the government also says that this, uh, this vessel is going to be operational for at least 
18 months, um, which obviously is quite a, a long period of time, but we don't know exactly how quickly it's going to arrive. We understand that it's currently um, in Italy. Um, it will need to be towed um, because of the nature of the vessel. It's, it's a barge, so it, it doesn't have its own uh, steam, as it were. Um, but given the prospect of a legal challenge, uh, which is also something which is on the cards for the other uh, plans the government has in place to develop new uh, deterrent-style accommodation for asylum seekers, by re redeveloping two disused RAF bases in Lincolnshire and Essex, as well as this uh, former open prison in Bex Hill. Um, local authorities there also say that they're looking carefully at this, uh, looking at the prospect of legal action in Lincolnshire and Essex. A lot of criticism from some of their local Tory MPs, including some big names, Foreign Secretary James Cleverley, Pretty Patel, the former Home Secretary, um, tr the Rail Minister Hugh Merriman, not happy about it either down in Bex Hill particularly. So the government um, have put their state of intent on the table. Now they're saying we do have a vessel. We're looking at getting other vessels in future too. We think this is the answer uh, or part of the answer uh, to this situation, but I think they're going to face a lot of opposition. Okay, Amanda Acas uh, with the latest there. Thank you. The Home Office confirming it has leased a barge to accommodate around 500 migrants in Portland, Dorset.